Just when you thought it couldn't get any creepier. Hey guys, it's Angie. Welcome to day number 17 in my countdown to Halloween. I'm uploading a video every day in October and I have tons of makeup tutorials already uploaded. So if you want to check them out, please check them out. Otherwise, today's video is all about being a green goblin and it's very much inspired by the green goblin from Marvel. And um, it's really fun, it's really creepy, and it's pretty easy to do, it's just face paints and eyeshadows. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and let's get started. Let's get creepy. Err. Alright guys, to start this one off, I've already covered my eyebrows. Now I'm going to apply a green face paint all over any of the skin that's going to be showing. With that same brush and a lighter green shade, I'm going to start using that to highlight my face. So I'm just going to kind of pat that onto the highest points and then blend it out with the brush. Next with an angle brush, I'm going to start sketching in the details and the features of the face. So this is a goblin, it's going to have very furrowed brows and, you know, smile lines and all that jazz. Just using a olive colored eyeshadow to start this process. I want to create a false eye socket again with that green eyeshadow. I'm going to create some wrinkles around the nose bridge. If you kind of scrunch up your face that'll help the situation. And grab onto your crow's feet. Start creating that wrinkle as well. Get your furrowed browage going on. It's starting to look like a dinosaur. That's okay. All right, so now I'm going to start defining the nose. So I'm going to go around my nostril and I'm going to create an exaggerated nostril to make my nose appear a little bigger. So you can bring that down onto the sides of your cheek a little. I'm going to create a little bit more of a nostril as well. Now we're going to create some smile lines that radiate off of the nose. And create some more contour lines down the cheek that follow kind of that crazy smile. And create some wrinklage around the eyes if you want to assume the position. Create like one big wrinkle under the eye. This is starting to look like my Slimer tutorial <laughs> a lot. I'm going to create some more things, like right here on the outer corner. A little dimple from where you're smiling. I'm going to sketch in a quick mouth. To remove the paint from around my mouth, I'm going to use a Q-tip and I like to take a baby wipe and wrap it around the Q-tip. And that way I can control what I remove. I deepen some of these lines a little bit with a little more of the eyeshadow. Oh, I forgot to mention that I John Travolted my chin. Go ahead and shade underneath the lip. And go ahead and shade underneath this smile line. Under this cheek. Go ahead and shade under this brow a little bit. And shade on the inner corners of the nose to make it appear slimmer at the bridge. For the jaw, I'm going to contour out a more chiseled shape. My contacts are drying out. Every time I do like detail work, they get like. I'm going to add another little smile wrinkle here. So now I'm going to sketch in the teeth with a teeny tiny little angle brush, same one I've been using, and a black eyeshadow. So I'm going to start kind of by mapping them out. I'm going to go ahead and sketch the tops of the teeth. And then I'm going to outline the mouth with a black shadow. You'll notice that I had to adjust my smile line a bit, so I just took off some of this green. Because the line was going right to the corner of my lips, it was creating a fold that I wasn't happy with. So I just moved the line over and took off that green face paint, and I'm gonna add some more teeth. 
And to paint in those teeth, I'm going to use a white face paint with a smidge of golden yellow added. With a teensy tiny brush, I'm going to fill in the pink of the gums. And I am going to place a couple of highlights inside the gums just to make them look wet. I'm going to go ahead and outline the teeth with the black face paint and that teeny tiny little brush again. I do like to add these little lines, the gum ridges, I call them. The center, I'm going to put a little tongue, so more pink. And I'll grab some black and put it in the very center. And then add that black to the outer corner and let it fade down into the pink. I can shade the hide the teeth a little bit too to create a shadow on the tongue. And then deepen black even further on the outer corners. With a really watered down yellow face paint, I'm going to start highlighting these little crazy wrinkles. For the eyes, I'm going to apply a white base. This is NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Then you want to pack a yellow eyeshadow on top of that base. Just really press it down into it. I'm going to sketch in the eyes with a black eyeshadow. Once you get a rough outline of that, you want to start shading around the edges with an orange and then blending it down into the yellow. And here's where we hold our breath because I'm going to be outlining the eye with a black liner or the fake eye. To the center of the lid, I'm going to apply a little bit of black eyeshadow just to give me a, a guideline of where to put my dot. Check it in the mirror, take pictures with your cell phone, as you should do with all of your makeups. And once you're happy with that placement, you can go ahead and create your little dot or your pupil. A lot of this got muddy under the eye, so I'm going to add some green back in and then redefine the wrinkles. With the green eyeshadow again, I'm just going to go in and create some more wrinkles. and deepen any of these areas that are showing underneath the eye. The areas that I want to deepen a little bit, I'm going to add some black shadow. I'm going to use these little fairy ears. These are from my Dustin Baylor tutorial. I bought these for like 30 bucks, so I want to use them again. Get my money's worth. And I'm just sticking them back on with a little bit of prosade. They're not going to be as clean as the first application, but maybe we can cover that with hair. It has Getting sleepy. All right, here goes nothing. Throw some shade into that ear, girl. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this Green Goblin inspired tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'm gonna say this like 14,000 times. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps support my channel and it really does make a difference. And also if you have any Halloween requests, leave them below. There's still some days left that I don't have any idea what to do. So leave me some comments below. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and stay creepy. Bye.